We are going to turn next tonight here to the new warning about distracted driving. Dash cam video of a head on crash. The other driver allegedly distracted. Too much internet is making it hard for us to focus. So distraction is everywhere. And in fact, the truth is, distraction is a major problem in today's world. It can be caused by a variety of factors, including our environment, our technology, and even our own psychology. Environmental factors can be a source of distraction, impacting our ability to focus. For instance, studies and frankly, common sense show that multitasking while driving poses significant risks due to the divided attention it requires. Similarly, offices with visual clutter, noise, and constant interruptions can hinder concentration. Additionally, distractions can arise from a lack of a designated workspace or having excessive personal items in the work environment. For example, while working on an important project, social media notifications, emails, and text messages can distract us and make it difficult to focus. Also, engaging with entertainment and media while working is one of the most insidious forms of multitasking, which is why I can't listen to any radio, podcasts, audiobooks, even classical music, which has a lot of interest and variations while I'm doing any kind of focused work. To make matters worse, according to science, the human mind is actually wired for mind wandering, a sort of continuous distraction state where thoughts and fantasies often take over. This natural default mode of operation of the brain makes it challenging to remain focused. Studies have revealed that almost half of every waking hour is spent in this state, regardless of the activity engaged in. Additionally, mind wandering is more strongly linked to unhappiness than the activities we engage in because we often fall back into thinking about the past. But that's another story. Mistake number one, not having a plan. When we show up without a plan, we're much more likely to get distracted by the things around us. 70% of people admit to getting sidetracked when working on tasks without a plan. That's most people. Set yourself up for success by planning. Here are a few tips that served me well when I worked in the field as an adjuster. The where is very, very important. Always put your keys, wallet, and phone in the same place every single time. Plan to work in places with few distractions and lots of accountability. Claims offices, help rooms, and coffee shops are boring, have none of the creature comforts of your hotel room or RV, and have all of the potential eyeballs who could see you watching fail army videos on your computer instead of writing estimates. Plan for things to go sideways in your schedule with a concept called slack time. Don't completely fill up your day with tightly scheduled inspections because chances are that something small, like looking for your keys in the morning or local event traffic, can wreck your entire day. With slack time, you build in buffers between appointments and you time block out things you know you're going to have to do, like return voicemails, do file corrections, and set up new claims. Likewise, build in an admin day every two to four days, especially when you're just getting started. Working outside depends on the weather, and if it's raining, you can't climb roofs, so having days with no field inspections will give you a place to roll claims that you have to reschedule for bad weather. Mistake number two, ignoring how we feel. When we're feeling stressed, anxious, or bored, we're much more likely to get distracted. Think about it. Good luck focusing on highly detailed work like writing complex building estimates when you just found out that your teenager has decided to run away at the circus instead of going to college. It's hard to reduce stress when you have bills to pay and you're not sure how you're going to get them paid, but I found that taking action on things can very often close the open loops that generate anxiety. Pick up the phone and call the bank and ask for a little grace on your next mortgage payment. Plan to get that weird sound your truck is making checked out. Go to the dentist and get that stank tooth fixed. Just put that stuff in your schedule and get it done. Getting a nice paycheck can also take the edge off anxiety. So the more productive you are as an independent adjuster, the more you'll get paid in many circumstances. Mistake number three, switching between too many tasks. Multitasking can actually make us less productive. Switching between tasks, like answering the phone while you're in the middle of doing a roof inspection, reduces efficiency by up to 40% and increases the chance that damage or measurements will be missed. Never mind that it can take up to 15 minutes to get back in the flow after switching back to inspecting a roof. Focus on one task at a time. Avoid multitasking and give your full attention to the task at hand. This one is so simple. If you're writing an estimate, you're not answering the phone, you're not looking at email, you're not watching ESPN, you're not shopping for a new driver, here's the trick. Pretend you're at the movies. What do you do when you go to the movies? You shut off your phone, you clear off your schedule for the evening or afternoon, and you focus on one thing for two hours the movie. 
I call this single tasking, but I've heard it called monotasking as well. Whatever you call it, if you organize tasks into time blocks, you'll be far more effective. If you know that you'll be returning calls in your next time block, then you won't be tempted to answer the phone when you're up on a roof during your inspection time block. Mistake number four, not taking breaks. When we don't take breaks, we're more likely to get burned out and then therefore distracted. Remember how we said that stress can in increase distractions? Spending hours in front of a computer without any breaks will not only burn you out, but it'll probably burn out your eyes. So here's a couple tricks. Get up every hour or two and go to the bathroom, go out, step outside, grab yourself a glass of water. Even moving around just a little bit, every once in a while will give you a real boost in your energy. Take a real day off. If you're working claims as a field adjuster and you just got deployed to the big hurricane, you're not taking days off for at least the first couple of weeks. But after the dust settles a little bit and you've hit your stride, I strongly recommend taking at least a Sunday morning off. Maybe the whole day if you can get away with it. And when I say day off, I don't mean get an oil change, go to the dentist, do laundry, buy some new storm shirts, so on. I mean you're doing something fun for yourself. Even if that fun thing is that you just don't get out of bed and you get all caught up on Fail Army on your phone, please take this advice. Don't run errands on your days off. These are your mental health days. Slot your errands in during your regular working days and take your clothes to the wash and fold that's in every town big enough to have a laundromat. Mistake number five, not taking care of yourself first. This refers to the three things that are essential for optimal health and productivity, sleep, exercise, and diet. By far, the most important here is getting enough sleep. People who sleep less than seven hours per night are more likely to experience difficulty concentrating and staying focused, let alone the struggle to even give a crap if you don't feel rested. As far as exercise goes, if you're a field adjuster, you'll be getting more steps than you ever imagined, Never mind walking up and down roofs all day long, so add extra exercise to that if you like, but it's probably not totally necessary unless you've got a goal that you're after. I personally trained for and ran a triathlon when I was on cat one summer. Eating as few processed foods, drinks, and sodas as possible will make you feel a lot better and help you keep your weight down. When you're working in the hot sun all day long, you're gonna be happy that A, you got enough sleep, B, you don't have a hangover, and C, you didn't eat McDonald's for breakfast and lunch. That's this kit, uh, two double quarter pounders with cheese and one of those with no ketchup or mustard. <laughs> Distraction is a major challenge, especially if you, your income depends on you being very efficient, but it's one that you can overcome. By following the tips in this video, you can reduce distraction and, and improve your productivity. And listen, making videos like this is still a lot of fun for me. We've got so much great stuff coming up, and I'm just really grateful that you're here. So if you're looking for a way to support Adjuster TV so that we can keep making videos like this, subscribing to the channel is really the best way. If you're interested in learning how to change careers and become a well-paid insurance claims adjuster, then I encourage you to check out this video here on how to get started in a claims career. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and have a great storm. You just found out that you're twice as likely to be killed by a vending machine than by a shark. <laughs> you just found out that you're twice as likely to be killed. <laughs> you just found out <laughs> you You just found out that you're twice as likely to be killed by a vending machine than by a shark. You just found out that pro wrestling isn't real. You just found out that Pluto is no longer a planet. You just found out that the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl again. You just found out that mother hamsters Will sometimes eat their newborn babies. You just found out that the Supreme Court has its own private basketball court on the top floor of the building nicknamed the highest court in the land. You just found out that hunting unicorns in Michigan is legal. You just found out that it officially takes 364 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. You just found out that Cookie Monster's real name is Sid. You just found out that when they pray, 7% of Christian Americans pray for a parking spot. You just found out that a dairy cow will produce up to 3% more milk when listening to music. However, they don't like Willie Nelson. Right. Right? Yep. Just get up like every hour or two, go to the bathroom, step outside, even just get yourself a drink of water. Getting up and moving around will really, really help you to be better at everything.